Hey, all the Zerks, welcome back. Welcome back to Gloomhaven. Yeah, I didn't see this one coming, did you? I actually probably did. Uh, last time we were in Gloomhaven, we were in the middle of our run in order to unlock a four-person team uh, when a new mercenary is unlocked, the uh, Elementalist, actually. And I want to test him out, and now there's been the Guildmaster update with promises of online co-op multiplayer uh, going live this Q3. So... A lot of exciting stuff for Gloomhaven as this continues to evolve, and I always want to get back to this game to see what's new and all the new mercs to play with, so let's see what Guildmaster mode looks like. It's kind of, it replaces the old adventure mode, effectively. Uh, so all our progress and wonder is, is now Kaputsky, but we'll see. Uh, easy, normal, or hard? Well, this is the old easy. The old hard had 25% more health on heroes. The new hard is this. So, I'm going to go take the normal for now, because we were used to having this. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's try normal, and then we can crank it up, because they did rebalance it, apparently. Enter guild name. Oh, God, they have to make me be creative off the bat. I mean, the er your screw is probably good. Yeah. Oh, I can't capitalize in the middle of, of, of the word? Vraiment. Pourquoi? Wait, no more capitals. Am I on caps lock? Nope. So this is going to be even funnier then. Your screw. Or screw D. D. Oh, the, now it gives me... What? <laughs> what is going on? There we go. Oh, shift actually downscales it. I'm like, what? I'm so confused right now. The Earth Crew. That's right. Or you're screwed. Uh, I like that. Full tutorial. No, we don't need it. Story intro is fine. Experience the initial story and puzzle quests. Uh, yeah, story intro. What, what is what is this? What's going on? I want to know what the Guildmaster mode is all about. I'm very excited. I want to test my new merc. Apparently, this lets you kind of mix and match mercs. Trainer. Great work getting through the basic training missions. Thanks. Introduce the third member of the guild. He ain't much of a fighter, though. Hey, now I was particularly care to be experts at stabbing people. Ha, <laughs> please, excuse me. <clears throat> Greetings, Guildmaster. I'm the humble merchant of your fledging guild. I deal with the important aspects of running a guild. In other words, money. Which, might I add, is sorely lacking at the moment. You can see right now is the world map. You probably noticed it looks a bit barren at the moment. Well, I got some good news and bad news for you. The uh, bad news is the realm's been overrun with all manner of unpleasant monsters. Rogue bandits, wandering undead, dark cultists, you name it. The good news is that you're going to help us restore the routes back to the other settlements hidden in the fog. That's the new kind of campaign arc right now. We can do anything about that, however, we'll need to get some mercs in the guild roster. Start with actually recruiting the poor old brood guys up to a spot of bother again. Wait, really? I am brood. Yet again, the brute finds himself in a precarious situation. Guide him out safely or surely join the guild. Okay, so maybe I should have skipped this. We'll see what's different with the UI. We'll see what's different with the UI. I mean, this is the new story. Oh, yeah. I, I want to know what all about the brute, right? This is the kind of the story mode I'm here for also. The trainer tells you to head to Demon's Gate Graveyard where you find a mausoleum with a smashed front door. Walking down the steps into the gloom below, you follow a trail of broken bones until you hear the sounds of battle. Entering a chamber, the badly wounded brute is facing off against a number of undead. Dope. I'm sure this will end well for everyone. Mmm, I think you beverage. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby! Let's begin. Looking more closely at which individual character can do. In this scenario, Brute has two level 1 living bones to deal with, which means their stats will be greater than their level 0 counterparts. Uh. Monster stats are combined with a base ability card drawn for the monster's class turn, resulting in the cards you see. Yes, we know. Yeah, no, of course. And both have an innate shield 1 effect. Yeah, okay. Yes, Pierce, we know. Uh, having good authorities, living bones are going to attack more than once. Your low will be able to burn, so it will require some shielding of your own. By the way, while these enemy shields are in a persistent effect, normally active bonuses granting blitz of a shield are accompanied by a round or persistent duration. Gotcha, yep. Uh, kill living bones, you can tag with pierce, apply some shield to your own, use your minor healing potion. Okay. Well, that's easy enough. Give to me our das head. Um, so we need to shield, apparently, shield oneself. Well, we have pierce. Three. I'm assuming we don't roll like shit. 
And let's go ahead and grab shield oneself. I mean, obviously. I want this priority, please. Thank you. Uh, end selection, yep. Okay, so we can't actually go slower. Target one enemy if it's all attacks. Yeah, okay. Well, you know. Yeah, you need to not die. Cool bones. Cool bones. It basically says don't burn cards, so I won't burn cards. Yeah, it's gonna roll as possibly. So this is still kind of a tutorial section. They said we'd be through the tutorial and we'd have the um, the puzzle bit to deal with. All right. Well, we'll see if we survive the damn round. We'll definitely take that. Take the one. All right. How many are you doing, bro? Damn. Yikes, that was quite the onslaught. Yep. Final objective, kill the bones. Good luck, he's a tanky one. Tip for you. The old push and trap combo. Now that shield only prevents damage from attack, doing damage from traps, we know. I mean, we kind of knew that. I need a short rest for sure. Do we have a push? Yeah, we do. Yeah, we have a push. I don't know, but how much damage does a trap do? Three. That might not be enough. We have spare dagger and warding strength. Okay, let's short rest then. Whew, this is skeevy though. If we don't do the right thing, she'll okay, so it's gonna be it's gonna be gentle with us, that's fine. Spare dagger warding strength. That's fine. And we'll push. It's the only really solution we have, yeah. Alright, pray this works. Bruh. Bruh, you did not plan this, bruh. Attack two. We're just enough here. Yep. Attack three. Boink, confirm. Like this is an old combo. Like, oh yeah, the push combo. Oh, we can oh we can double trap him? That's awesome. Confirm the push. Okay. I guess we didn't have to do the first kill, that's fine. Alright. Puzzle succeeded. Victory! Save the brute yet again. I hear decided that venturing alone is not working out for him. So he agreed to be the first merc in your guild. Well, that's good. I like him. He's good. You got a dusty crypt, so who else we can recruit? Oh, do tell. I think there's going to be a bunch of like puzzle stuff to help you get used to the merc's abilities. And that's cool. I just want to get the uh, the elementalist in here. Claim rewards. The brute. Thank you. Sure, so up damage well, but he's not the most mobile. Ample funds is going to be of most importance. Do you know anyone good at gold acquisition? Oh, I know who it is. I know just the woman. The rogue. She's also a dab hand at poking holes in those who get in her way. That's a liberating some gold right now. Should we lend her a hand? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, so this is a bit of the story how you're setting up. I, I like this little, little intro. I'm sure the tutorial is just as exciting as the previous one. A blade in the night. Trainer points you in the direction of a ruined crypt in the out. This crypt's everywhere, man. On the outskirts of town, dead bandits live in the area, many with knives still embedded in their corpses. Clear they didn't see their attacker coming. Those bastards. Oh, she's still a scoundrel, sorry, not the rogue. I mean, she's basically a rogue, but it's called the scoundrel, let's be correct, yeah. Alright. Meet the scoundrel. Gonna be nimble. Not to mention able to combo off huge. That's true. How we get out of this sticky situation? First, you need to kill three archers this round before they attack. Certainly need something to hit more than one. No shit. Okay. Well, attack two, range three. Do we have a third position attack that we actually use? So we need to kill all of them. Do we have a pull that we can use into a trap? Not really. But maybe, does this pull work like this? But it pulls only a straight line, right? Um, do I need to short rest? What do we have? Swift bow we can't help. Quick hands, loot one does not help. Uh, quick hands and throwing knives. We need throwing knives. I'm being really dumb here, or am I missing something? I have to kill all three. Am I missing an obvious pull or something? The throwing knives we need, obviously, and then... 
Smoke bomb doesn't help us, we don't kill them. Pull two range three. This is a pull two, but it's unclear if that'll pull there, but I think we can only pull in straight lines, that's not helping. Thief snack, nothing is adjacent, so we can't use that. If we short rest, we gain swift bow, but that doesn't help us, because we're using the top line of this. I'm not sure what the fuck we're thinking about here. How? All right, maybe? Maybe? Did they change how pull works? I think you only do pull in straight lines. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I've got this wrong. Hold on. That's very powerfully strange to me. What do they want me to do with this? Oh no, I can pull at an angle. Oh! Was that possible before? I'm not entirely certain it was. I think it only pull in straight lines. It's very strange. Okay. Huh. Good junk. Sucker! Feels good. Loot at least five piles of gold this round. Yes, we know. All the gold. Yes, Mr. Giraffe. To all the whipping cream. Yes. Ooh, I don't want to do that. I'm gonna read. How much HP do you have? Crap, how much HP do you have? A lot. That's fine. Burn smoke bomb. Alright, now we need to loot two. That'll be fine right there. So if we have a loot two and. Quick hands, move two. Alright, sounds good. Quick hands. Yep. Yeah. Get me there. And looten fine. Skip the attack. Looten fine. Hell yeah. Six gold. I even done did that. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Take care of that gold for you. For assistance in the Sonera scoundrels you to join join agreed. Agreed to join the guild. Mercs for proper mission. I want my I want the cool mercs. I just unlocked them all, bro. Come on. <laughs> we just unlocked them all. Alright, fine. It's fine. It's fine. Do his guild reestablish a trade route with Gibbet Hill. Gibbet Hill. Small problem with bandits in the woodland on route, but there was a brute and scoundrel to assist. Nothing should cause you any trouble. You so much need experience. Let me get some new items in stock. Go knock some bandit heads together. Alright. Toss a coin to your hangman. Toss a coin to your hangman. Something, something, something. Witcher. Alright. I don't have a choice. Alright. Unlock the gibbet. Unlock the gibbet. All right. This is how it starts. I'm just saying. This is how it starts. Toss a coin to your hangman. The road is deserted as you make your way toward Gibbet Hill or Gibbet. I don't know. Everyone pronounces that differently. Trading in the area has effectively stopped for many months now, with so few daring to venture along the main highways. As you make way along the trail, wending its way through a wooded grove, the crack of a twig snapping underfoot pierces the silence. You hear the rustling, the undergrowth getting louder as its source makes its way towards you. The bandits! They are here! You will crush them. Mercilessly. So hopefully by this introduction you can see that Gloomhaven is far more approachable than some people might think. It's very complicated, but it's fine. You can do it if you never played it. This is your first proper fight. Two clings with a couple of bandits each. Just remember what I've taught you. Touch me. By the way... Press tab to highlight them. All right, what do we got? We got two banditos. I need to move four. Can we go four anywhere? Yes, we can. That's the only four we have. Uh, grab and go gives me move four. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Kommen Sie und tanz mit mir. All right, uh, I can disarm, which is fine. Do you have something that'll probably kill him? No. Skewer? No. The disarm is probably a good move. Got some good abilities in this one, though. Balance measure was interesting. Yeah, provoking roar. Use that priority. Und you. You'll need to run. Ooh, venom shield gives me five move. I like that. One, two, three, four, five, and I can go. I could pull the pull, right? No, that, that pull is position two. Attack three, range four. 
Anything else? I'm trying to see if the range will work. We can definitely move four and use the attack three. Move six. God damn. Can we get one, two, three, four, five, six? Suck my jibblies. Um, can't really do much about that. Alright. No, we'll do this. Four, five, six. Uh, technically, waste not, want not, right? I should... No, but this is this is the burn. That's why I'm using this. Never mind, it's fine. Backstab, swift bow. Is that, is that what we're doing? Yes, backstab, swift bow. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, swift bow. You are doing... One, two, three, four, disarm. All right, that's fine. Let's go do it. We had to go fast. Wow, we had to go fast. That's good. Continue. Um, move six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We will do the Zex. What do we have here? A healing potion. Okay, well. We have many ways of dealing with that, Shotzi. Shoot this one for now. Make it easier to kill later. Bleh. <laughs> And the scoundrel's turn, yeah? And we go here. And we disarm the sized cop. We have, oh, plus two move to single movement. That would've been good to know. We have boots, apparently. I should've checked that, it's my bad. But if we have the disarm, does that allow them to snake the trap anyway? I don't remember, I think we learned this last time. Yes, they make the trap anyway. Cool. Ew, you suck. You really suck. Okay, we need to do the push. We need to do the push. Where's the push? There's a push. Move three. Push one. And that dies. And then we can actually liberate our little thingy. Little thingy meaning our um Is that the best way to do this? I think it probably is, because we have to liberate her out before she just decides to get murked. We also overwhelming assault. That'll be more useful for a more precise push. So even blows fun. We need something to, for quick priorities to do that. And then we can go throwing knives, but I don't want to go too fast here. And if we get all hot and bothered, um, no. Where's the thing that lets me move and attack? Quick hands. One, two. Smack two. That looks good. Move to attack two. And let's pull up a loot. We only have two things. Uh, we can go ahead and... I mean, I, I'm pretty sure we can just use that throwing knives for loot, too. I think we'll be okay. It'll be easier to get all the goodies. Do we have some gold out here? Yeah, it'll be better this way. Let's just, let's just use the loot. I'm just a little afraid of this situation. That is very efficient for the looting purposes, yeah. Okay. Uh, they might hit me, but that's alright. I'm fine on health. Move to attack three range two. That's gonna kinda suck. Alright, so we're gonna move three. Push one. Skip movement. Confirm the action. Hey? What happened to my push? What happened to my push, bro? Wait. What happened to the push? That was an adjacent enemy. Why didn't it push? Did I not confirm the push? It had it targeted, didn't it? Ow. To even more damage now because poop sticks. Alright, fine. You made me do it. Uh, this was gonna be very elegant, but then I think I misclicked something on the on the UI, and that's okay. Just watch me lose this initial mission. Be hilarious. I'm playing this a bit fast and loose, obviously, but not too worried about the situation. All right, we'll need to have her use a healing potion soon-ish. Uh, let's see. We definitely want to move big. Move three, one, two, three. And we can go one, two, three, plus two and open the door. That's fine with the boots. That works. 
And what do we do for the attack? Do we have anything ranged? We have spare dagger, right? Yeah, let's do the spare dagger as a range attack. And then you, young lady, you'll need to take that on. You'll need to take this on, because you just got wrecked. And I mean, we could long rest here, but it's really, really quite unnecessary. So heal up, and then only waste one heal basically with that. I'll move five to get in a good position. Yeah, all right, we'll do it like that. Can use the boots. So we can yump. Hello. And we have someone just in range. How wonderful is that? What are you doing anyway? Move through attack one. <laughs> this is a pittance. Oh, there's so much gold there. I would want to get that, but that would make this tedious. And I'm not fond of tedium. Aha. Uh -huh. So go. Cool. All right, we took no damage. This is good. All right, we're gonna heal self three. Yep. Yeah, we're gonna move. Uh, I don't even think I need the healing potion, but whatever. In case things get really unlucky, let's move that way. That's fine. Burn the awesomeness of the card to go here. How fun that is. And we'll end it. All right. Now we can do fun things. This is where I wish I had my... There's my Leaping Cleave. See, that's what I want. Let's short rest real quick so we can get it back. This is not how you normally play, by the way. Uh, yeah, Burn Sweeping Blow is fine. And we're going to go Leaping Cleave on these two Yutzes. And then we can go Spare Dagger as a priority and also probably just kill both of them in one go. And just in case that doesn't fucking do it, um, here's short rest here. No, that's the one thing I freaking need. Fine. Alright, then we'll just have Swift Bow up, just in case, to shoot whatever's left. And then Quick Hands to follow up. Alright. If this doesn't kill these two guys, I'll be hella surprised. Alright. Leaping Cliv. Leaping Clive. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's said confirm action before the push. I'm really surprised what happened there. Thumbs up, Sago! Nice. The only thing about that was we can... We could technically do this. So we'd lose the loot one. Dang. No, we can do we can do this cleverly. Look, we can go here. No, undo the waypoint. I have a better idea here, like this. Skip the attack, and then we use this to go here. Yeah, that's as good as we're gonna get out of the gold here. That's fine. Could we have done more? Maybe. Did we do okay? Yeah, we did! Victory! Alright, we gotta get some new mercs though. Come on now. Complete! I do like this new uh, gameplay loop situation though. The joyous sound of gold coins in the pocket. What to invest it in? Perhaps you get some minor mana potions back in this talk. About the time you learned about the fundamentals of mana. Oh my god. Mine got. They said that the tutorial was over! Alright, it's fine. The spellweaver should be able to show you a thing or two. Last I heard from her, she was researching a stone circle in a forest nearby Gibbet Hill. The monster's about to check. She's okay. Alright. Well, we were going to get the spellweaver in the guild anyway for this run. We never ran with her. So that sounds fun. Let's get her. Let's go! <laughs> I'm glad they made this introduction far more cohesive. Uh, there's also an underground cavern area now, which is going to be interesting, too. Um, asking around in Gibbet Hill, you're directed down a forest path towards some long-forgotten ruins. You reach a clearing, you hear a commotion ahead. Seems some bandits, as always bandits, have cornered an orchid woman. Who is this you have been told... Is this who you have been told to find? Of course it is. 
Who else would it be, Shotzi? Who else would it be? Yeah, cornered's not good. That means you're bunching up, but that means I get to nuke you all. It'll be fun. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Meet the Spellweaver, a powerful but fragile magic wielder who can harness the natural elements of the world. That's a lot of bandits. Add this mess, you need to harness the power of the elements infused. Yes, we know we know how infusion works. Consume ice for freezing Nova. Jump move to escape. All right. Well, easy enough. Active element, ice element strong. Freezing Nova sounds good. And uh, that'll kill three of them. Ride the wind. Ride the snake. Yeah, we're going to definitely consume that for plus one attack. You need to activate it that way. Yep. Yes. Confirm all the things. Good kills. God, I wish I could loot. How far can we run away? That looks pretty good. I don't think they can get me from here. Maybe? Not sure. Let's find out. Get anywhere else? It's blocked. I mean, it's about as far as we can get. I mean, everything is near us, I guess. Go here. I mean, everything's technically close to us, I guess. I'm not sure what we're going to be able to do. What are they doing again? Oh, yeah, they're just attacking, yeah. The ice element dealt three instead of two. Can chase after you. Okay, ride the wind. Only three unburnt cards remain, so we'll be exhausted. Yes. Very powerful. Reviving ether, yeah. She can get the. Burns up. Yep. We definitely want reviving ether. Short rest for sure. Burning freezing nova, fine. We're gonna flame strike reviving ether. And it works. Sketchy. Move to attack to strengthen. That's not good. Uh, if I kill this guy, we'll be all right. But that's super sketchy. Okay, all things that are burned. Please don't roll badly. We rolled well. We rolled well. We're fine. Yeah. Yeah. It gives you advantage, by the way. The best of both rolls for whatever you do. Yo, what's up? Fire Orbis. Attack three, three enemies. Wow, that's pretty dope. What's the... I have a loot, don't I? I have a loot one there. I have heals. Oh, she works as a healer, too. Fascinating. Uh, I mean, I kind of can't really afford to... To use the loot, which really sucks. The loot is position one. Yeah, it really sucks. I mean, kill something with Mana Bolt, but then there's no guarantee I'm going to survive. But I could technically... I mean, if I don't kill everything now, and I take the loot situation... That'd be interesting, because I can heal myself as well. But it's probably better just to merc everything. It's, I mean, we'll get a lot more money for this if we do this right. It's just super sketchy. It's waning. Um, well, if we Mana Bolt... Heal 4, range 4... They probably can't kill me like this, and I'll have a better chance of doing something interesting. Just trying to find a way not to kill everything. Yeah, if we do Mana Bolt, Freezing Nova, that should be interesting. So we could probably still do the loot? Question mark? I have no idea, maybe. Move to attack to strength. Okay, so he won't be able to get me actually if we if we succeed this roll. Um, yeah, we're gonna definitely burn the 
Definitely burn the... Yes, burn the thing. Yep, do that. Double damage. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this to kind of get... Get some yummy on here. Cool. The downside of this, though, is that he's gonna be in my way. Yeah, maybe this didn't work out so good. <laughs> Damn it. Because I'm kind of stuck here. Because of the jump move I did. Yeah, oh, man! I don't want to loot things! Alright, fuck it. Well, fire orbs it is. I don't have a choice. I have to... Fine. 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 I will kill you all. Dang. Alright, well, it was worth the attempt. That's so much gold on the ground. Like, legit. I just, I'm just boxed in is a problem. Hi. Yeah, you got the positive. That's alright. That's okay. You're gonna die anyway. It's all good, sunshine. It's all good, baby. Cool. Uh, I need more spellcasters because spellcasters are dope. Is there a lot of gold anywhere? There's a pile of four there. Might as well get the four. Alright. Yoink! Did we get something? At least we get something. She creates a lot of elements, which, you know, she's gonna play well with the elementalist. Good to join the guild, as our abilities can be incredibly potent. Complexity for tactics. We like complexity. Complexity is the dates. Quest complete. Alright. That's the elemental school magic covered. We do with recruiting someone who understands high tech. Cultural Tinkerer. Good call. Looking for fellow explorers. Interested in joining a guild. Let's see if we can find him. I always thought it was a her. Okay. Things I didn't know, but all right. Uh, we will check in later with our little burgeoning guild here in Gloomhaven and see what's what. For now, I've been Earth. We'll see what the new story mode has in store. See you all next time. Till then.